Upload an image of anything you like and play it like a real world game. You can even prompt events to happen inside your simulation. And the best part, you can try it for free today. In this video, I'll show you what it's capable of, exactly how to use it, and why open world AI is the next big leap in the world of AI. If you're new here, I'm AI Samson, and on this channel we explore the latest developments in AI technology. So let's take a look at this demo, a real-time AI simulation in a Red Dead Redemption style world. This was made entirely with just a simple prompt and image. It's explorable, it runs in your browser and responds live to your input, and you can try it for free today. This is Mirage 2, and it's built by a small team at Dynamic Labs. Now, there is no game engine underneath this. There is no pre-coded physics. Everything is generated on the fly. It's a neural network predicting every pixel on screen in real time. And you can steer it with everything from text prompts, so you can simply put in a prompt of whatever you would like to happen next, or whatever type of action or characters you'd like to see appear. You can use your keyboard or a game controller. This is the next step in simulation of real world models. Now you may have recently seen Google's Genie 3 model, which I made a video on. You can check that out in the link in the description below. But the big element with Genie 3 is that's only a research preview. You can't access it. This is available now and for free. And I've had the pleasure of exploring it myself. So let's take a look at a few of the worlds that I dreamed up. So this example is a Lara Croft style world. And just look at how sensational the water physics are here. It's absolutely beautiful. You can see the shimmering light glistening of this complex world. Now, what's interesting about this is that you can control it entirely using your keyboard, as well as having the option of inputting text prompts. Now, with text prompts, you can come up with any idea that you have and create it instantly. Let me show you how that works. So I've put in a horde of young women, in, and as you can see, suddenly we have these ladies in bikinis, and one is suddenly jumping on top of me. So now I've asked it for a horde of zombies to appear out of the earth and attack me, and Instantly, we get a brutally monstrous zombie appear out of the earth, and I'm able to engage with it. But one of my bikini ladies suddenly spawns as well. But there are some extremely fun things we can do with this. For example, I took a photo of myself here in my studio and popped it in. And you can see that it instantly recreates the environment. But one of my favorite examples is I generated a skateboarding example. And this worked exceptionally well because it already gives the character forward motion. So you only have to direct it left and right. And you can explore through whatever direction you like. Now, I decided to challenge this example to the very extreme. And I gave it a challenging prompt to spawn and teleport into an entirely different reality. And the reason I wanted to try this out was to see how well it performed at creating a completely parallel universe. So I asked it to teleport into an alien world full of purple jellyfish. And immediately we start to get some jellyfish flying around and the entire reality changes. Now what's great about this is you also have the option to jump. And you can see as I jump, I start to fly. Now there are some incredibly impressive examples here and it works across a number of different mediums. So this is a Ghibli style world. And what's beautiful about this is it has the quirks and charms of an anime style film. You can see the beautiful color palettes and wonderful elements give it a quaint and whimsical feel. And this world has excellent consistency between the environments. You can see that the buildings are maintaining a lovely aesthetic cohesion between each other. Now, one issue that is presented currently with real world models is making sure that an environment stays exactly the same. That means if you're looking in one direction, you turn away, and then you return to that direction, then everything remains in the same place. And this is an incredibly difficult feat for these models to perform. Now, what's beautiful is you can even put 
drawings in. And here is a childlike drawing that has been turned into a reality that you can explore. It just opens up so much possibility for creativity, expression, and exploration. You can take any idea or any image from a image generator and put it into this model straight away. Now you can also do this for paintings. This is the painting A Starry Night from Vincent van Gogh. And you can see that you are now exploring this extremely surreal, visceral environment. And you can get much more of a sense of inside the mind of Vincent van Gogh. Here is another example from a beautiful Parisian street scene. And this opens up the possibility for exploring worlds from different eras and different opportunities to understand not only our own time frame, but also historical context in a entirely interactive way. Now, if you've ever wanted to head down to Peru and check out Machu Picchu, but you didn't have the time to take off work, well, now you can simply generate it and take a look yourself. And here we are, trekking through the rugged mountainous landscape in the Andes and exploring for ourselves these ancient ruins. This is the future of tourism, ladies and gentlemen. Now, people have been creating their very own examples of this, and I'll show you a couple here. Here is one from Pop AI, and you can see he's inputted this female character, and she's walking around this deserted urban scene. Now, one of the limitations is that the characters morph through the journey. So you start off with something that's extremely realistic to your prompt or image, and you can see that within five to ten seconds the character takes on a new evolution. So we've very quickly lost the polka dots on her skirt, for example. But the environments being built here are absolutely stunning, and one thing that I admire about these is the aesthetic consistency throughout the environments, that we maintain a beautiful sense of environmental cohesion. You can see that the colors and the environments maintain a consistency to a believable world. It's not as if you're suddenly moving from one reality to another, it's that you are continuously evolving through the same context. Now, you can try this out entirely for free and play around with whatever you like. Now, what's great about this is you can use everything from individual humanoid characters to generating your own wonderful creations that you can then control. And I'm going to show you now exactly how you can do that yourself. So the step one is simply to come to blog.dynamicslab.ai. And from here, you're going to scroll down and go to Play Mirage 2. Now, you have the option of using an initial image that they have pre-selected for you to start off with. But what's even more exciting is uploading your own. And for that, I recommend using Midjourney. Now, I'm going to give you a selection of prompts that I've been using for my own generations here. You can see here, I've created some highly detailed GTA style image prompts, and you can change the settings for this however you like. So you can change the location. So I might change this from Bali to, let's make it ancient Rome. And you can simply go through and change the variables. So these are any nouns that you find. So I've changed the character to a male gladiator. And then once you're happy with that, you can simply send it into the platform. Now, I've also been playing around with this beautiful skateboarding surreal shot. And this was one that I edited based on a prompt that I found in the Explore Gallery. So a great place to find awesome prompts inside of my journey is just to browse through the Explore and then take something that you enjoy and put your own twist on it. Now I'm quite excited to play around with creating some sort of playable animal. It's going to be a robotic manta ray. I've also got my lovely, beautiful gladiator images coming out now. These are working in an absolutely stunning way. Once you're happy with one of these, you can simply go to download. Then we're gonna go come back into Mirage and go to upload. Now the key here is to upload your image, but you also need to insert the prompt that you used. So I will take the exact prompt, copy that, come into Mirage 2 and make sure that I've popped it in the prompt bar. So you need the image and then you need your prompt. Then you can go to upload. Now you can go ahead and press start. Now there is currently a waiting time 
on the preview and generally you have to wait about two minutes. So this may increase as I launch this video and more people immediately go on to test it out. So do keep that in mind. Now, as for the controls that you have to keep in mind here, that we have the ability to move using WASD and we can move our camera using the arrow keys. Now you can press shift to perform a forced move, which includes running. So if you hold shift and WASD, you'll start to run more quickly. You can use the space bar to jump and F to attack. Now another little tip is that you can upload multiple images in separate tabs to run consecutively. So you can see here I've got in one tab, I'm launching the Manta Ray. And in the other tab, I've got the Roman GTA style exploration. And this means that we can play with more games simultaneously. And as you can see, it's absolutely stunning. Now we can move around using our keys, moving the camera. It's beautiful. You can see we've got other characters here. We can even go up to them and interact. Now, if we want to add anything, we can go into the prompt bar and type in whatever we like. There are a number of simulation prompts here that you can try. For example, this one brings in an env environmental change and dark clouds gather and heavy rain pours down. So you can see we pop that in and you can see now if I'm holding shift, I begin to run and just observe the beautiful mechanics here of how the character is able to perform different movement styles between running and walking and that he's animated in an entirely different way. Now you can see there is some rain coming down in a pretty horrible environment. Now the other prompts that they have available for you to try include a pristine modern metropolis or a golden sunlit floods across endless desert sands. So you can see here we can completely change and adapt the environment using our own prompts as well as adding in different types of action. Now let's try out my other example which is this manta ray. Now what I love about this manta ray example is the ability to explore completely different conceptual environments. You already know AI creators are here and they are growing fast. FanView is one of the first platforms built to support that seismic shift in content creation. Now, this is a platform specifically for AI first influencers and digital personas. And FanView is the platform that I personally recommend inside my AI influencer course. It's built specifically for AI first creators. You get a place to share content, build a paying audience, and actually start earning from the character you've built. Whether you're creating an AI model, storyteller, coach, or something stranger, FanView gives you a clean setup to test, grow, and go public with it. It's simple, functional, and it works. The link's in the description below. And a big thanks to FanView for supporting this segment of the video. Now, we've seen something similar come from Google with their Genie 3 model, which turns a single image into a playable world. But the big thing with Genie 3 is that it isn't publicly available. But if we can compare how Genie 3 is performing against Mirage 2, there are some very interesting insights. Now, one of the most interesting examples I've seen from Google's Genie 3 is this recursion inside a world model. So you can see here, it starts off with us playing a game on a screen and then removes us into another reality. This is almost as if you are waking up inside of a simulation. So we have the world simulating a game inside of the game. And you can see here, we're playing the game in, on the screen and then suddenly you remove yourself and you can move around this second reality. This is absolutely stunning. And it just starts to open your mind to the possibilities that we are already living in a simulation that's nested inside hundreds of others. Now, this is an example from Mirage 2 and you can see that it's extremely capable of handling complex movements from different types of species. Here we can see this horse cantering in exquisite reality. Now, Genie 3 has been performing exceptionally well and allowing us to explore paintings in a new way. And this is just one of the innovative use cases for real world models that we're starting to open up. Here you can see us moving through this beautiful environment all on our own. Now to do this ourselves in Mirage 2, all you have to do is find a painting that you want to explore, upload it into the box, 
write your prompt. And here we are exploring a surreal Salvador Dali world. Absolutely beautiful. Now there is a real importance of these real world models. They're not simply gimmicks. And this is because real world models unlock far more than entertainment. They're essential for the future of training and simulation. For example, there is the possibility of combat and war simulations, as well as disaster response and societal events. Now, this can be approached from the idea of training, but also of simulation, where we are simulating these events and observing what is happening in these complex simulations. Now, beyond this, the future of robotics depends entirely on highly responsive AI world models. And that's because robots need accurate simulated environments to train before entering the real world and to understand how their actions will implicate the environments that they exist in. Now, I also believe that there is a huge possibility in science, research and discovery for this, where the ability to test hypotheses in controlled but realistic simulations allows us to rapidly experiment and simulate across a whole host of different disciplines. Everything from psychology to sociology to politics and climate science gives us a huge opportunity to generate a massive wealth of knowledge. Of course, the gaming opportunities are going to be massive. We can understand any reality that we have in our minds. We can simply draw or sketch an image, put it into an image generator and generate highly realistic environments, which we can then step into and experience. And the step to go from having this just on a screen to putting it into our own virtual reality headsets is a very small one indeed. Now there are limitations with this platform. And one of those is that often the character completely transforms, but you can use a prompt inside of the prompt part to bring it back to something more akin to what you started with. Beyond that, some of the interactions do not make any sense at all. And to have a real narrative inside of this game yet is well beyond its capabilities. Beyond that, there is no objective inside of these worlds. You're simply exploring. It's not as if there is a mission or a destination, which is somewhat inherently important for any type of gameplay development. Now also, sometimes rapid scene transitions can introduce unexpected detail variations, though strategic prompt engineering can help maintain consistency beyond extended periods. One of the other issues is environmental consistency with often worlds adapting and changing as you re revisit them. This is something that Google Genie 3 is much better at having a handle on. And of course, currently you have to wait three minutes to use it and you only get 15 to 30 seconds. However, we can expect this type of technology to be available on a paid tier soon that will give us a lot more capabilities, control and length of use. I certainly would be interested in experimenting on this myself. In the past year, people have been excited about AI video, but most people have missed what's happening with open world AI. Now, this isn't about short three to five second clips anymore. This is about building entire simulations from simple text prompts or images. And this means we can create games, films, and interactive realities entirely with AI. And this isn't just a gimmick, it's a signal of what's to come. And understanding the possibilities now will put you in a good position for the future. These are worlds you can explore, generated in real time. And the future is closer than you might think. If you want to keep track of these leaps in AI video, I'll be testing every new release that I find. So, Subscribe so you don't miss what's next. And if you'd like to jump further down the AI gaming rabbit hole, watch this video next for some other extremely interesting AI gaming projects. Don't forget the free prompts for generating your own AI gameplay images in the description below. And most of all, I want to say thank you so much for watching. Thank you, you for watching till the end. It's your support that makes this channel possible. And I would love to wish you a delightful day.